My name is Kurt Bunker, sir. Here to apply for the open deputy position. Seriously? I understand that my physical appearance may be unsettling, but I can assure you my ties to the movement were severed long ago. Unfortunately, the removal of my tattoos has taken longer than anticipated. It just became prudent for me to distance myself from former associates. Then why are you back? It was time to come home, man. What do your former associates think about that? What they think is none of my concern. I understand that my physical appearance may be unsettling, but never mind. You're the guy who gave me your resume, right? Dade County Sheriff's Department. Yes, sir. Kurt Bunker. We go. With all due respect, ma'am, I understand my physical appearance may be alarming. Save for it. You. I've known men like you. I know everything about you. Hey, you wanted to help people. There's people down there who need your help. Then let the Nazi calm them down. I'm asking you. I'm not who you think I am. Oh, really? Right. Because you've changed. Yes. People don't change. When I was 16, I watched my father beaten into a coma by two men who look just like you. You have any idea what that feels like? So tell me, Bunker, what fills a man with so much hate that he has to permanently paint it all over his body? Announce to the world that he hates something that much. My father was the biggest man I ever knew. He beat me a lot when I was a kid, so I stayed away from home as much as possible. There was this guy in our neighborhood, Tank. Big and badass and covered in tattoos. And every time he saw me, he would sit me down and buy me a soda. Tell me that I had the power to change things. He introduced me to his buddies. They were the only people that made me feel like I mattered. One day, my father gave me a black eye. I don't remember why, but Tank saw it. He marched me home. He grabbed my father by the throat. Made him apologize. Made him promise he would never do it again. He said, your boy is one of us now. My father never laid a hand on me again. For the first time in my life, I had power. I had become one of them. That is no goddamn excuse. I know that. I know that. Things take time. Yeah. I can handle it. The fuck is this? Price. Jesus Christ, Bunker. You're a fucking pig? I'm a banshee deputy sheriff. You're a motherfucking traitor. I should stab you through the heart. Expressing your opinion isn't a crime. Threatening a peace officer is. So was torching that kike temple in Harrisburg, but I don't remember that stopping you. Calvin's still running things? Damn straight he is. But if you think he's gonna protect you from us, you got another thing coming. You tell my brother I'll be seeing him real soon. Bunker. Sir. Hello, Kurt. Calvin. It's been a long time. Welcome home. I thought you just needed to clear your head for a bit. But this, there's a lot to take in. I'm sure. 
And now you're back just as suddenly as you left, huh? It was time to come home. You left us in the lurch that night, Kurt. I lied to the Brotherhood for you. And now you come back here, unannounced, and you do what you did to Jasper and Bryce. You're making it very hard for me to keep you safe. Still, you're my blood. And like you always said, brothers before Brotherhood, right? You take off this uniform, and you come back to your real family. I'll smooth things over. I'll get you in the way you got me in back in the day. I'm gonna do the right thing. I'm gonna shut down the Brotherhood. All of it. You be smart, Calvin. You have a wife and a little boy to raise. Walk away. Walk away. There is no walking away from it. I am the Brotherhood. Take care of your family. Don't you come in here and tell me to take care of my family, you fucking traitor. We will fucking bury you. You hear me? I don't. Jasper and Bryce send their best. Thanks. I'm not gonna tell you again. You want to tell me what the hell happened out there today? <clears throat> a lot of those guys are angry that I'm back. They feel betrayed. Okay, I don't like those guys any more than you do, but if you're gonna wear that bag... I am guys like that! Every evil, twisted thought that he's had, I have had. Every fucked up thing that he's done, I've done. I've done things that would make you sick. That make me sick. You think you're the only one around here that's got dirt on him? I don't know you, okay? But from what I've seen, you're not the man you used to be. I will always be that man. Putting on this uniform does not wipe my slate clean. I'm doing everything I can to change. And every once in a while, I managed to convince myself that I'm a better person. But the minute that I come into contact with one of those fucking guys and see the way that they look at me, all I feel is hate and anger, and I can't shake it. Okay, all right, listen to me. Hold, look at me. Okay, all right, you hear me? This isn't a nation anymore. It's a fucking soup kitchen. We can work this out. Brothers before brotherhood, that's what you always said. You're not my brother. I'm the only thing standing between them and you, asshole. You better fucking remember that. I have your sister. Calvin! Come back to the family, Kurt. We need you. Now more than ever. Calvin, he talks a big game, but he ain't made of the same steel you and I are. Come on. I don't know how you got out. You made a mistake coming back here. Because now that I know that you are out, I'm gonna dedicate myself to putting you back in. I didn't expect you to bite right away. I mean, hell, you got to be you, right? Bunker. Really? What'd you
What are you doing? Shut up. You're going to have the entire brotherhood up here. Get up. God damn it, fucker. Be smart. We got to be smarter than them. We cannot beat them at their game. We got to beat them at ours. I'm sorry. No, fuck sorry. This town's going off the rails. We got a serial killer on the prowl. We got a mayor who's a gangster, and you want to start a war with the neo-Nazis. And I'll be damned if I'm going to give up this town without a fight. Now, you got to decide right now whether you're going to fight with me the right way or you're just going to be another headache I got to handle. No, you're sure? Yeah. Because you didn't think I could tell him it took me all about 10 seconds to see it. Now, granted, I'm a smarter than average cop and he's a hate-mongering asshole. Calvin but, doesn't uh, know. Where are they, Kurt? Get the fuck off my property. Where's my wife? She's somewhere safe. She'll call you when she's ready. You are fucking with my family, Kurt. My wife, my son. Do you have any idea what I will fucking do to you for that? She doesn't want to see you. Fuck you. You don't get to fucking tell me that. I just did. I'm going into my house in two minutes. If you're still here, I'll come back out. Trust me. You don't want me to come back out. He laughed at me, and he said, there's only ever one way that a dog fight ends. You remember that? You and Maggie, huh? <laughs> Let's walk away, Calvin. I'm not going to walk away, Kurt. I can't. I mean, a man can only take so much, can only swallow so much shit before the time comes to address it, right? I'm sorry. I didn't expect this to happen. You just want sorry piece of shit, aren't you? I will shoot you. Then you get Maggie free and clear, you can move into my house. Raise my son. Come on, Kurt. Shoot me. Shut up. Shoot me! Please just walk away. As long as I'm alive. shit out of you. And then somewhere along the way you remember you got a gun and you shoot him from 20 feet away. Is that it? I'm not sure what you're trying to imply. No, I'm not but... implying anything. I'm saying it. You beat the shit out of Calvin and then you killed him for good measure. Hey, Bunker. Relax. It's just you and me talking here, okay? Come on, sit down. I don't know what it is about this town, Bunker. What geographic phenomenon makes us a magnet for every scumbag and criminal east of the Mississippi? But what I do know is that to do this job, sometimes you gotta take off these badges and get bloody. It's happened before and it'll happen again. And I gotta know that I can trust you. And you can trust me, you understand? Yes, sir. Good. A little trust to be nice around here. Kurt Bunker, that's your real name, right?
There's nowhere you can go, either of you. I will find you and I will make you pay! Even if you lock me up, the Brotherhood will hunt you down, you know it. They will slit your throat in front of her and then tear her ass to pieces! There's nowhere you can go that we won't find you! I will kill my own son before I let you raise him! I'm going to kill you, you bitch! Don't do this! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't do this! Come on! Let's go, Calvin. Hit it, boy! Don't do this! Fuck it! Push! Fuck you it. Without your backup! Get off it! Get off! Fuck her! Fuck! 